Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and another wonderful Tuesday with you guys and learning all about Office 2013. Again, I'm still continuing my Outlook 2013 because there's so much to learn with Outlook and especially with the new version. So today is all about customizing your inbox. Now within the view tab, there's so many options that you guys could do to customize your inbox. Um, but it, it basically takes you to just go in there and start clicking and playing around. So I'm going to show you some of the basics. Now, when you start Outlook for the very first time, this is the this is the view that you will get all the time. This is basically the default one. But within the view tab, change view, you see right here it allows you to change the view. So let's say I want preview. So this is how preview is going to look. Now, with preview it closes the reading pane and it allows you to get more detail of the emails within your inbox now if you want to go change it back let's say let's go group so that's pretty cool right it looks basically the same hide okay and let's go let's go imap I think the reason I don't have too many options is because I have Gmail hooked up to Outlook Gmail is does not or shouldn't be used with Outlook at all uh, another cool feature that I like within Outlook 2013 is show as conversations. Now, this feature, what it does is if you're constantly talking to a particular person as a client and you're going back and forth with emails throughout the month, you, most likely you're getting other emails on top of that and you, you need to try to find something. What, so what this does, it groups all the emails into one little conversation which is pretty awesome so let me see if I could find an email so here goes one uh, Paul Logan uh, this individual we went back and forth as you can see I replied back to him and you see all the other emails this little email looks a little different from the others right so this one is a conversation so when I click on it as you can see, as you can see, it gives me the list of all the emails that I went back and forth with him. So that's pretty cool. So that means I don't have to search for him. Everything is grouped together. Now, if you don't want this feature, you can always turn it off. Just check, and it's going to say this folder. And then, as you can see, Paul is only grouped by one person. So that's one thing uh, another the arrangements the arrangements are pretty cool because within the arrangements what you guys could do is uh, organize it by date subject from type to attachment I can't really tell you which arrangement is best it really depends on you like if you pick size from the size it actually tells you which one is the biggest email within your inbox like this this one is the biggest one now I kinda like the size especially when you're dealing with a corporate people and they have like you have limitations on the inbox and they have a bunch of emails that they need to delete if you do by size it would tell you which one is taking most of the space and you can start deleting from there best thing about this you have a reverse sort so if you click on reverse sort it actually gives you everything that's small and down uh, you also got from from organizes everything by the person that sent it so that's pretty cool so if you want emails from let's say at division you get all the emails from at division uh, the the from feature actually puts everything into alphabetic order so that's a, that's a cool thing uh, by default you would get by date so you get today yesterday last weeks uh, if you have a bunch of attachments within your inbox uh, you could just click the attachments arrangement feature and you're basically gonna see all the stuff with attachments don't have too much attachments uh, if you want to add more columns uh, you could just click on add columns and from here you could just basically let's say you want all the CC's you could just add it and then you will see it once you press OK if you want to remove it just click remove and then you go now if you guys want to rearrange the way that the columns look you can always select what you want and just do up and down and then press OK also a cool little thing is if you take your mouse and put it right between there until you get those two arrows and you just move it as so you can see that you have a bunch of other columns within your inbox but because you are inside compact view you're not gonna really see all the stuff that you guys wanna see Okay, 
So let's put this right back. Cool. Now, a lot of people don't really like to have their reading pane on to the right. So within the layout for, um, section within the ribbon of the view, you got the reading pane. So you got the right, which is default. You got the bottom, which I like the bottom part because within the bottom part, you can see all your emails from here. And you could just shrink this as much as you want. You can actually turn it off if you guys don't really like it. Now, you might say, okay, I turn it off. How can I view my emails? You could just basically double click on it. And once you double click on it, you could just be able to see it. Now, another cool little thing is your message preview. Now, as you can see, message preview only gives you a couple of lines, but you're able to change the amount of lines that you want. So let's say this folder. So as you can see, it extends the email to more information. So let's say you want three lines. So I'm going to do it in this folder because I'm in the inbox. And as you can see, it gives you the first three lines within the email so you know what is going on. You can also turn it off if you want. Once you turn it off, you're only going to get the subject of the email. So I'm going to put it back into one line. And I'm going to do it this folder because that's where I'm at in the inbox. And that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Tuesday's Microsoft Office 2013 video of customizing your inbox. There's more features that I want to show you guys of Outlook 2013. If you have any questions, hey, again, please leave comments right below. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, and i catch you guys on the next, actually next Tuesday. Peace out.